What's going on everybody, C4, welcome back to the channel, and today we're here for episode 43 of our Philadelphia Eagles Madden 22 franchise rebuild here in year 3, ahead of our week 11 matchup on the road against the 1-8 Miami Dolphins. Things were all doom and gloom, as you see right now we are battling our way up from the basement of the NFC East, we were on quite the losing streak, 5 game losing streak, and we're able to kind of put some wins together, and I think that there's... We've had some injuries. Devontae Smith, the best wide receiver in the National Football League, is out with injury. But it's been more so the additions than it's been the subtractions, clearly, as to why we got the ship right here. Aaron Rodgers under center, QB 12, 91 x fat. He feels so good, man. The, the velocity on his throws, the accuracy, the zip on his passes are like nothing we've ever seen before. What is the, he has 91 throw power, and he, like... It's not even the same area code. Zach Wilson, 96 throw power. He's been away from team. And it's just like, he felt like he had a Jalen Hurts noodle arm. It just was not working. We stripped Zach Wilson of the QB 12, threw it, sew it on Aaron Rodgers' jersey, and he's been leading the charts. I will say this. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit like if this game here against Miami, especially with the defense playing the way they are, we might get two games in. I, I might want to try to just run this one right up into the bye week. And that week 12 game. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying that right now. I'm not going to bring it up again because in this Miami game, especially at 1-8, and eight, that sounds already like I'm overlooking them. And if they play us tough, we only, I only got enough in me for one game. One game at a time with Aaron Rodgers. We're coming off the back of a 34-27 victory where Damian Hughes, 11 tackles, 2 picks. So the defense under Sammy Rios as the new play color is finally starting to at least see some you know net positives. Yeah, they haven't been shutting teams out, but they've been... Getting turnovers, doing their job, doing little little bits here and there so they're not just complete liability. Every time they're on the field, the other team's going to score points and it's going to fall all on me controlling the offense to win shootouts. Defense is getting a couple turnovers, a couple stops here and there, and it's, it's, it's a progress. It's a process, and we are getting progressively better for our 83 overall unit. That has been completely underwhelming this season. Uh, looking at our team, uh, what we got to do this week for our activities. Well, we have to start here. We have get to focus a player that we've been looking through for scouting. Well, we haven't done really anything in scouting so far. We have kind of shifted some focus on the quarterbacks. I suppose Aaron Rodgers coming in kind of changes that just a tad. Um, you know, we got uh, Nixon, Nowak, Page, McCartney, all first rounders. And I think as it stands right now, we'll just let that be. Uh, I think we got to focus on the big time upgrades that we really, really do need. Uh, this season, I'm talking about, you know, I mean, technically center is one. And the fact that there's only one center that's even remotely, I, like, we got to put that there. Because I'm pretty sure Jace Kelsey will retire. He's already flirted with the idea of retirement in season. And I think we would be foolish to not at least scout and do as much due diligence on the clear-cut top center in the draft class. So we will be focusing on Will Lambert out of Louisville. He'll be one of our three. I think when we flip to the defensive side, I know we got to go right away to corner. Corner's another area that I definitely want to keep focusing on. Bishop is a top five player. We're not going to be picking top five. We got to look outside in because we'd absolutely go back to back corner. We got Bagley in the first round last year corner, but it's it's still we need another guy, man. Darius Slay's getting older. Don't know how much you know more tread he got left on the tire. So we're going to take a look. I mean, again, we'll go Mike Baker. Sure, take a swing here. Let's do Baker and McCann in the secondary to attainable corners. And that'll be like a little bit of a due diligence here for our early scouting. It is tough though, man. That's the, You're seeing firsthand why the scouting update in Madden 22 franchise mode is still just, it's not, it's like we started this needing a quarterback, right? So I, I kind of like gamble I'm going to say there shouldn't be any gambling but we kind of need a quarterback so I want to focus on scouting and getting as much information as we could on the first round quarterbacks when we were uncertain with Zach Wilson when he was starting to look a little bit shaky right so we did that we, we put focus on quarterbacks but now we brought Aaron Rodgers in I mean you still need that focus on quarterbacks because Aaron Rodgers is a short-term band-aid solution but like with Aaron Rodgers playing good what if he comes back for one year we want to shift our priorities to other positions it's week 10, still plenty of time, but you can't really do that in the scouting update. You've already jumped two feet in on the quarterbacks, and there's no real room to pivot. There's no real room to react to how your season's going with the scouting update. You're kind of set in stone with the blinders and the lanes that you get yourself in early in the season. And I, I think that needs to change for sure. Um, we'll look at the weekly strategy here. 
against Miami again. We might play two games, but the more and more I talk about it, and the more I hear my baby screaming upstairs, I'm, I don't know. We might only be able to get one in here. Uh, let's figure out a best stop. This is two tag low. I think when we look at two, look at that. 89 percent passer rating short that's, that's absolutely where i was thinking anyways you'd want to stop it uh to attack their defense gotta want to be a little conscientious with the fact they got some ball hawks their corners are really nice gotta stop jason sanders from running the ball on us it's ridiculous um i mean just looking at that again throwing it short seems i mean that it's also where you want to go man you don't you don't want to test saving howard downfield that byron jones he can make plays Get Javon Holland, he can make plays. I'd rather just, you know, keep it short, get the ball out quickly. Our offensive line has not been the best, has not been playing up to the potential these last couple weeks. So we're not going to be able to stand there in the pocket, even though I don't really do that a whole lot anyways. Uh, Kevon Wallace is going to be missing this game. He's a depth safety, but he does get on the field every now and again. That's a little bit of a bummer. And on the offense side, we absolutely can't have any injuries on offense. Down Devontae Smith is already far and away... Uh, a massive blow, not fatal blow, but a massive blow to our offense. So luckily our offense is going to be fully healthy and we're only down to safety. We got Luke Little wants to go up a point here. We'll go, we'll just keep pumping in points there at speed rusher. See what he got here up to a 72 overall speed rusher, some acceleration, some finesse moves, some tackles, some play rack. Not bad for the rookie at Oklahoma. Then we have Jordan Mailata working on him. I mean, I think we started live today. Like, I, what is he, 85 in Madden right now? So unfortunately, because when we started this Eagle series... Uh, he wasn't as elite, at least in the eyes of Madden, as he is in real life right now. But we're working there up. He's still good. He's only 26. So the last thing we need to talk about before we go in this matchup, I don't really think it's contracts. Again, every time I talk about this, it's just because I have so many series on the go. Well, not so many, but I have enough series on the go. We always just want to double check. Uh, Stamper is a guy that we want to re-sign. And I, I, I suppose it's completely valid to say we have a lot of interest in maybe re-signing Aaron Rodgers. You know, like who knows if, if Zach Wilson's ever going to get it right. Who knows if Aaron Rodgers closes this thing out, brings us into the playoffs. We go in a deep playoff run. What are we going to do with that quarterback spot? I mean, there's going to be probably some uh, some requests from me to you guys as to what should we do at that quarterback spot. But lastly, before we get into this matchup, almost you got to be a must win against the 1-8 Dolphins. We have Miles Sanders looking to become a superstar X Factor. Four touchdowns, 200 seed on this is something that I can 100% get on board with. Anytime you're in the area of like throwing it to a receiver or a tight end and they're on breakup, you are opening yourself up to throwing interceptions because you get, and I'm telling you right now, maybe maybe a lot of you guys out there have more self-control, self-discipline than I am, but if you tell me Jalen Reggie needs 150 yards to go up to a superstar dev, I am force feeding him the ball. I'm throwing everything and anything at him when I can, and that is going to lead to turnovers. But when it's a running back and you just shift it behind this our pass pro's been shit, but our, in terms of run blocking, I don't think there's a better run blocking offensive line in the NFL. I think for 100%, you want 200 rushing yards for Miles Sanders to go up at X-Factor, we can achieve that here today against the 1-8 Dolphins. We'll just set up the play action for Aaron Rodgers and let everything else run through Miles Sanders. And hey, maybe, maybe that might play into things, so if we want to get two games in, if we run the ball a lot, we chew in the clock, could get through it quickly, but again, that's the last we got to talk about it because we got to focus, can't look beyond Miami. But it is absolutely paramount that the Eagles move to 6-5 and five after this week. Let's get into it. Look at these guys warming up. It's a rain game in Florida. Muggy, they definitely playing into the hand of keeping the ball on the ground and feeding Miles Sanders. Open and drive defense gets a stop. Let's go. Couple runs. Third and five. Go Rodgers, that should be good, four yards. Oh, fourth and inches. Oh my God, the house rules. <sighs> Disagree, but that's, I, I think I think house rules are very important to getting that, that right balance of the challenge that you want to look for. And you never always, you know, how many times you watch a football game, you never agree with the coaching calls. That's, that's, that's an element that we kind of need in our series here. So unfortunately, so for the punt, and the Dolphins go down to score a touchdown. We get rightfully punished for playing like cowards. Also, it looks like today's the day that all these corners look like they want to be all pro safeties. Just their tackling abilities. Haven't been able to break a tackle yet. And a fuck, come on, man. The Dolphins defense is not very good. They're a mid defense. There we go, Bench. That's a great grab. Moves the chains. 
We gotta get rid of some of the momentum too. And also, we could hit Miles Sanders with the backfield. That's 200 total yards. So that could be receiving yards combined. Don't have to do it all on the ground, even though that might be the easiest way. Seven rushes, 17 yards. Of course. I don't think we've ever had that rushing stat line ever in this series. But the one time we need Miles Sanders to have a big game, she's like, oh yeah, you're only going to get one yard to carry. Nothing there. Covered sack that we are able to throw out of. Setting us up with a third and nine. We'll go trail. See if we can just get Benson or Goddard at the sticks. Get a remember. Can't be stressed enough. No Devontae Smith. That is our X factor. Our X factor wide receiver is down. This is going to be a little bit difficult. Benson gets a little bit of separation and moves the chains. Speed straight of Central Florida back home. All right, second inches. Let's watch Miles Sanders here at the backfield. Stay right there. 100%. 100% we eyed in on Sanders. I didn't look at anybody else. Third and inches. We got Kenny G coming in to vulture a touch. The one week we don't. We, the one week we aren't happy sitting Kenny Gamble out there. But he is able to move the chains. Terrific starting field position for the beginning of the second quarter. And there we go. Touchdown one of four for Miles Sanders. We tie this one back up. Defense, give me a stop. Come on. Thank you. Let's go, Miles. Big high run. 71 yards. And we might build. One of the things, though, we need a big picture. The way and the, the, the pace that Miles Sanders has set statistically this year, he's probably going to get a dev trade scenario anyways at the end of the year. So it's not do or die. This is not our only chance for him to get a dev trade upgrade before the end of this year. Oh my god, four verts. Third day, we're going four verts. All right. Like we're playing. Uh, run, 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 four verts. Run, 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 four verts. Run, run, run. Four verts, and they've got Miles Sanders out the backfield. Let's go. Another big gainer. Keep tacking on yards to that 200-yard total. Second and seven. We got Miles Sanders out the backfield. Keep an eye on that. Jalen Rager going across. Might as well just go to right. I mean, at the end of the day, get points. A win is more important than a dev trade scenario and a loss against a 1-8 Dolphins team. So there you go. Jalen Rager needs to step up. He's the guy. That has to step up this year during the injuries period. So that's three more weeks that Devontae Smith is out. That's a great touchdown for him. Come on, D. Nothing. I mean, it is. We got a slain here on third. It is a rain game. It's going to be difficult to throw the ball. So I'm not expecting Aaron Rodgers just to be lights out. But. Come on, come on somebody, 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 somebody. Benson. Okay. Not who we think we'd be making plays, but Benson takes that one deep down to the two. Let's see if we can get Miles Sanders another rushing touchdown. Put him on the board. And there you got it. Pretty easy. Right behind Jason Kelsey rushing touchdown two of four for the dev trade on the game. For Miles Sanders, the Eagles extend their lead 21-7. Let's get to halftime. No points for Miami. Ooh, we're on the one. Okay. We want like a prevent defense. This could be some free rushing yards here. All right, so for this, let's keep running, get inside, get boost to that so we really close this game out with Miles Sanders. How do you want to stop them? Well, looking at this. It's been the medium pass. Let's focus on the medium pass. Taking that away from Tua Tagovailoa. Look at Miles at the backfield. Ooh! Making a miss. You gotta be up close to 50 receiving yards today. Don't even, I don't even need to see... The, I don't even need to see what number he is. Don't even need to see it. That's how much in sync I'm with Jalen Rager right now in this Eagle series. Don't even need to see if he's X, A, B, Y. Oh, come on. Why is Jordan Howard in? No! What? Jordan Howard vultures a uh, pretty important touch. I mean, hey, we got Jordan Howard on the roster for a reason. It is for short yardage situations. 
But uh, not a good time, Jordan Howard. Oh, that's a big run. We had 44 receiving yards. Look, there we go. We're over. That's 200 total. 200 total for Miles Sanders. And we got a quarter and a half left to play. Jordan Mylotta bruised sternum. I don't know what the severity of that injury is, but that's not ideal. Go for it, dumb it! Hey, there we go. Another touchdown for Jalen Rager. And, uh, yeah, we're playing against a 1-8 team, as I would expect we would play against a 1-8 team. Kicking the shit out of them. Excellent grab by Quez Watkins. Absolute dart from Aaron Rodgers. And that was on their best player on defense, Xavier Howard. Let's get Quez a touchdown, man. Oh, Quez had a little bit of a hard time this year. Let's get him on the board. Especially when we have that X-Fact for Aaron Rodgers, so it's pretty much a get-out-of-jail-free with an interception. Let's be aggressive. Let's run this score up. KG's so good, man. And his 15-yard face, but that's probably said something about Poyer's girl. Pack it on. I want 50. I want a 50 bomb. The amount of 50 bombs we've given up this year, which I think is like two or three, got to get one of our own. Oh, coach wants slants, third and nine. Absolutely, coach. Wouldn't mind hat trick for Rager. Maybe get another one into Quez. Well, we go to the the well, he's not a rookie anymore, he's a sophomore. Cedric or Benson. Let's go, man. Not Cedric, but probably related to the great Cedric Benson. Cedric Jr. CJ Benson. <laughs> and that is why, even though you don't really use two running backs in Madden, we're never not re-signing Kenny Gainwell. And there's no other way to put it, man. An absolute disgusting performance from our Philadelphia Eagles, as expected. I mean, that's what we can expect with Aaron Rodgers. 56 to 17 against the one-win Dolphins in a rainstorm in a game that Miles Sanders had to get 200 yards. So let's see what we did. So for Philadelphia and Roger, almost perfect. 300 yards, five touchdowns, no interceptions. We have on the running standpoint, 205 yards for Miles Sanders, two rushing touchdowns. So he hit it on the rushing yards alone, but we also got him involved in the pass game. 96 yards for Kenny G. We let him close this game out. And a nice little touchdown vulture there from Jordan Howard. So everyone was eating in this backfield. On receiving standpoint, five catches, 106 yards, and a touchdown for C.J. Benson. Happy to see that, man. Second year player to Central Florida. He stepped up. Jalen Rager, 77 yards, two tutties. We got Quez on the board with a tutty. Kenny G with a tutty. Miles Sanders, 44 receiving yards. So he goes for almost 250 on the game. And then on flipping to the defense, these are guys that had to do the damn thing. Uh, Damian Hughes had two picks last week, seven tackles and a pick this week, and also an interception for Devin Bush. Uh, we got two sacks, Derek Burnett, two for Fletch, sack and a half for Javon Hargrave in a TFL half sack. For Devin Bush, throwing a pick from the depth safety slash slot corner, Josiah Scott. And that is just complete football from the Philadelphia Eagles. It is right out of the victory. Miles Sanders like, I, you know what, coach? I did a hell of a day here today. I want an upgrade before the upgrade. You know what I'm saying? We got an upgrade before the upgrade. And a plus two speed. That just doesn't happen. Up to 93 speed for Miles Sanders. A player in real life. Eagle fans are uncertain. He's going to be worth whatever contract he's going to be looking for. But at least in this world, he is absolutely dominating. And as we can see now, a brand new superstar X Factor, Miles Sanders. 10,000 XP. Let's figure out what freaking ability we need to give Miles Sanders here. I don't know. Like, that's, you know, some some of the abilities, like when you look at wide receivers, abilities for wide receivers, stuff like that, it is, it's slightly situational. Like, if you're not hitting deep passes, maybe they'll be unaffected. Maybe they won't hit it. Let's get Miles Sanders up here into an elusive back. Maybe that's the only we need to start looking into is because maybe certain abilities are going to be locked behind his archetype. Like, I don't know, now we're 80. But I mean, you need to be like 85 receiving back or something to get uh, a really dope one. But let's see what we have here. He has Truss. No tackles will result in a fumble. That's, you know, a safe. We got here uh, this ability success rate. Nope. 
Racking ball on trucks and stiff irons. That's not really his style. Uh, this increases their fake out rate. That's probably more in line with what Miles Sanders would have. Satellite, protection on catches. That's not really Miles Sanders. Ankle breaker, they've increased on spin, juke, hurdle after the catch. And freight train. Frontex runners refuse to go down to first contact. When they enter the zone, this ability increases their chance to break the next taxi. That's, I like that one. They're all generally the same requirement. It's definitely first one free or freight train. I feel like freight train is not exclusive to power back. It's not wrecking ball because it's truck and stiff arms. This one here is just making guys miss. So I think I'm going to give them freight train. If you guys disagree, you guys know what the meta is for setting up an X-Factor running back, by all means, let me know in the comments. But I think I like freight train here. Uh, we got second win. Players with ability have a chance to replenish their stamina once per play when it's half depleted. That's not too bad. I'm trying to think of how I play with Miles Sanders. I do throw a lot of stiff arms. Avoid stumbling. Actually, I need that. I, literally, I think literally three times in that game, he actually stumbled. It was raining, but that's an ability that I like. Actually, let's make sure there's nothing else there. Let's not just be, you know, submissive, passive of every other ability here. Increase, no. Shift momentum, turn the corner. Let's sack. After securing the catch, don't throw it to him a lot. Uh, ball carries ability to break almost hits. You know, that's kind of situational. Don't need return, man. So we'll give him balance beam. And then we have evasive. Are these all the same ones? Short out elite. No, jukebox have steerable juke animations. Uh, reach for it's pretty good. Human joystick. They can quickly shift, turn direction. Oh, this is probably what I want. Human joystick sounds pretty juicy for old Miles. Man, Miles Sanders. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, man. This offense coming together. Another X. That means that's what? We got four X factors. Let's go to the next week against Dallas. We have four X factors. You can only have three. So I suppose we're going to have to nerd, well, until Devon A. Smith gets back. It's probably Dallas Goddard is the least important one, right? So how do we do this one? Like, okay, we're going to swap it for the time being. That's kind of cool. I've never actually had to deal with this, the managing of x Factor. Usually it's just a rebuild. It doesn't really matter because I'm not in the game. But yeah, we'll rock and roll with that. And I think when Devon A. Smith gets back healthy, uh, we'll get rid of Dallas Goddard. For one. Just, I, can't, I can call on like one hand. How many times we've actually got Dallas Goddard in the zone? And, I mean, he's good. He's, he's a chain mover as it is. He's one of those guys that was a surprise X-Factor upgrade. And I'll take it. And for situations like this where there's injuries, by all means, we'll give it to him. Now, defense needs to catch up. We got two X-Factors on defense. This, who's going to be the next one? And at the rate that they're playing, I mean, Josh Sweat's getting a lot of sacks. Damon Hughes getting a lot of picks. Could be, could be one of those two. But we'd love to get that third X-Factor on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and young ones, because Fletcher Cox, Darius Slay, getting up there a little bit. You know, getting up there in age. Luckily, we did turn off the regression. Uh, but as it stands right now, fellas, actually, I got I to gotta bounce. I don't have enough time to play this Week 12 game against Dallas. Because I do want to pick up the pace just a little bit on this series. Because I have other things in the chamber that I want to work on. I don't want to be overworked for YouTube content. But I will leave you with this. For those of you that were kind of hoping for a little bit of a doubleheader here. If you weren't entertained by just the absolute shit-kicking of the Miami Dolphins in Week 11 with Aaron Rodgers getting himself his first NFC Office Player of the Week for the Philadelphia Eagles. Five touchdowns, 316 yards. What I will do is I'll share to you right now the rough draft. It's not the complete version yet, but just a teaser. I am working behind the scenes. I've got literally someone that's going to make it for me. I have the framework, a new college football revamped dynasty. It's, it's kind of, it's very popular right now. And it's not, you know, I, I played Revamp. I was actually probably playing Revamp before most people were playing Revamp. But a lot of people are playing it again. And it's just me sitting on the sidelines going, you know, what what I what made me realize this was I was recording. If you guys saw on Super Bowl Sunday, we did a rebuild for the Washington Commanders. I literally spent all Saturday, my whole Saturday, recording that. And it was the most frustrating, unsatisfying. Like I was just depressed that like that was my life. My kid like went out and was playing all day. And I was like, nah, I gotta work. And like the fact that like just at the end of the day, I started at lunchtime and it was seven o'clock getting dark. And I was just like, what did I do today? I just got nothing but frustrating. And for a certain demographic, those are people that get entertained. Like I, I'm, <laughs> for the state of Madden, I am very thankful for those of you that can see just the memes and the shittiness of Madden and find entertainment in that because that's just what a lot of my content, I mean not a lot, but that's what the direction that a lot of content kind of heads towards as you play uh, Madden 22 but I realized at that point 
It's just like, you know, you look on the sidelines, you see all these, like, I have been clear that, like, I just don't have time to watch any other content creator, but every now and again when I can, I like watching Not The Expert, and Not The Expert um, has an outstanding, outstanding NCAA revamp series, and he's doing another one with Rocket City, and I've been watching that. It's like, I just, you know, you sit on the sidelines. I know how good Revamped can be. I've done two Revamped series. I did revamp Rebuilds, and we're doing a Tom Savage Revamped with UNLV. And I was just like, well, what's next? It's like, a, obviously, I, I think we could explore doing, you know, pink slips or something like that, like transfer pink slips. That's kind of, you know, it can tie in there for sure. But as we ramble on here, uh, I wanted to do my own school. So here is the logo. I'm not going to say where it is. I'm not going to say what the team is. But here is the logo for the school that I will be creating in College Football Revamped, NCAA 14. And uh, I'll put that up here now. All I can really tell you is that there is going to be a premise. I, I feel like me just being like, oh, I took, you know, whatever. You know, we've, we've done taking, you know, North Dakota State and moving them to NCAA. We've done that. You know, and, and I've seen, I know um, a lot of other people are doing custom schools with different different backgrounds. I, I think Bengals doing like a junior college. You have um, just other people just doing kind of creative schools or schools that may not have football programs. This is going to be a fully fictional school. There's going to be a premise that has not been done before and I made sure it was not been done before. I looked through NCAA, I looked through Madden content, just football video game content it has not been done before. There's going to be characters on characters. It's going to be something that's going to be completely a breath of fresh air from these videos. These videos aren't going to stop. I will say, I would love for either the Eagles, I would love in this series, best case scenario, the Eagles, we can win a Super Bowl. And then that, that this, you know, that college football series can take over for this one, just in terms of content, in terms of weekly uploads. But they're, they're, you know, this is an Eagles franchise. Even if this becomes less frequent, I'm going to win a Super Bowl. That is the only way this ends. If it takes me one more year, if I had to play this series, until the freaking Madden 23 comes out. It will get done. I am winning a Super Bowl with my Eagles. But it would be nice if Aaron Rodgers was the missing piece to go on and win that. But there's the logo for NCAA team. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We'll be back tomorrow. I think we'll do pink slips tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I do want to actually get a rebuild out sooner than later this week. I think it's going to be really fun to rebuild. Someone like the Bengals, team that just lost in the Super Bowl, do a quick rebuild there. Uh, try to get them back and win. The big one, I, I feel like that's kind of something I, I want to do. So make sure you stay tuned for your sub boxes. All that stuff will be dropping in later this week. Thank you very much for watching. As always, first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace.